This brother tells how he was visited by an angel in his room when he was praying, and the angel took him to the second heaven, he saw how the enemy Satan was talking to God before his throne asking permission to attack the world, what is about to happen the church does not want to hear it yet, so I must tell what is about to happen, while you listen to this think about everything that has happened, God speaks to his prophets many times and in different ways, he often shows them what is coming through visions, these visions tell of good times and bad times, times of blessing and times of punishment, God not only tells his people what is going to be but he also tells them what Satan will try to be against it, on February 6, 2004 I Daniel was lying in my bed unable to sleep during the night, I had realized that a terrible battle was increasingly taking place in the spiritual realm, this made me so restless that I could not sleep, suddenly an angel appeared at my side took me by the hand and said come you must see and hear this and then tell it to the church, I was immediately taken by the angel, I don't know exactly where I went but I know it was to the spiritual realm, as we approached the place I saw thousands of demons all in combat gear, standing at attention in rows and rows, as far as I could see they were standing in a war stance, at attention, obviously waiting for instructions to attack next. We entered a huge room it was really huge, it was like being in a dark CNA lit with a phosphorus like substance that was red and black oozing out of the walls, and everywhere there were strange and horrible creatures crawling all over the walls and ceiling, as we flew over that room the angel pointed to a figure sitting on a throne in the front, and told me that is Satan the ruler of this world, and he said and these are your kings of the earth, your ruling demons. The room itself was filled with rows and rows of countless thousands and thousands of demons. Everything was within dark shadows. It was as if color did not exist except the red light, and I could not count the number of evil beings that stretched out as far as I could see. The view of the room was that big, Satan was sitting on a high throne in the center of the front of that room, on either side of him sat two large demons on their respective throne. The angel told me one was the prince of America and that the other was the prince of England, below Satan on a throne was seated another prince of whom the angel said that he was the prince of the United Nations, shortly after we arrived a huge and majestic dark demon was called from among the congregation of demon, and this principality stood in front of Satan, the devil addressed him as his ambassador in the White House and told him, you have to control the White House to pass laws to legalize marriage between beings of the same sex, and to erase Christianity from the United States, to stop any attempt to restrict voluntary interruption of pregnancy in any way, and to legalize sexual relations between people of different ages, while Satan addressed his ambassador to the White House, the two other spirits stood up and moved forward to stand behind him. The angel told me that one was the ruling spirit of lesbianism and the other is the ruling spirit of the homosexuality. Satan told his ambassador to the White House, these two ruling demons of lesbianism and homosexuality were commissioned to support you along with all the warriors, he said to him, in the White House the spirit of incest, immorality, lies and deceit has been deeply rooted, these ruling spirits are installed to control the next president who takes office. They should work with you in the White House to destroy all the moral laws of America. The entire family tradition of America and the spirit of Christianity in America, Satan said, we have already succeeded in corrupting Congress with lust to sexual immorality. Greed, lies and deceit, Satan seemed to sense that Congress was close to being completely under his control. These demons closest to Satan were obviously of higher ranks, they were huge ugly and powerful, their outer garments seemed to be some kind of shell that was actually part of them, something like armor, the angel told me that they were the principalities and governors of the heavenly places, according to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, as I looked I saw that each one of them had something crawling all over them, I looked closer I saw that each one was covered by a myriad and myriad of little demons crawling all over them like lice. The angel told me that these little spirits were the messengers they sent out in an instant to carry message to convey, they will of the ruling demon to his subordinate, they come and go constantly from the ruling demons, after Satan finished addressing them he addressed the rest of the crowd, each one of them was a principality over a state here in America, 
with warlords under their command over counties, cities and smaller area, there were also ruling demons over each of the federal government, and one over each of the federal courtrooms, especially the court. There was fury in his eyes and I had never seen such evil as there was in that place, his power defied all description, as Satan gave them orders I saw black lightning come out of his mouth and strike each of his leaders energized and strengthening them. He gave them a series of orders that I heard. He told everyone, go to the capital of your state and to each courtroom in your state and to the capital in Washington DC and the federal courtroom, he told them. Use all the influence you could over the men and women who are in those positions to corrupt them in the money, in intimate relationships, in lies, in threats, in greed for power and even death if they do not cooperate, you should make sure that laws and regulations are passed that make legal every abomination against God in that nation. Everything immoral practice must now become legal and accepted by the population of the United States, in truth the people require immorality. Sexual relations between people of the same sex must be exalted and every form of sexual perversion must become acceptable as freedom of speech, every mention or a symbol of Christianity must be eliminated especially from all public places and school, we must remove the word of God from America, we must make it illegal to mention God anywhere, now you must work quickly to ban Christianity and turn it into the religion of hate. We must corrupt all people who occupy any position in the government, we must eliminate all family values and the sanctity of marriage, we must give the media carte blanche to do what they want in order to keep corruption continually before the eyes of the people, now the age of minors to engage in any kind of intimate relationship must be granted, all parental rights we will set up camp where people can go without clothes, Satan said. Concerning the church. At last all my false prophets are in their place within the Christian church, and my prophets will teach a message of greed and lies leading God's people to such a pursuit of wealth, health and happiness, to such extent that they will completely reject any struggle to prevent our actions through government, now the time has come for the final division of the church over political issues, left versus right, in a fierce competition. I will put families against each other over politics and religious rights, now is the time to harvest the seeds we have so carefully planted in the churches years ago, these seeds have now grown into powerful roots, the desire for wealth, power, sex and bitterness, marriage is no longer revered in the church, every time a believer gets involved in the sin, sexual relations through the internet, lust, abortion and compromises with us. He opens a door for us to send more spirits into the church through these things, God's ability to use his power through him it is greatly diminished, you must use gossip, slander and defamation even more with more power, to make sure that the people of the church hear only negative thing about anyone who tries to administer the truth of their God, you must not allow anyone to expose or oppose our kingdom. You must cause more pregnancies out of wedlock therefore the voluntary interruption of pregnancies, you must make sure that this becomes a practice for all churches, we are already close to achieving it, make a definitive now, you will make sure that the divorce rate in the church doubles in 2004, do it by sending demons to attack married Christian couples, attack them with lust, bind them with discord with anger with discontent. It is time to free all our women who are charged to have intimate relationships within the churches, both men and women especially in Christian universities, in the offices of the pastors, and also with the leaders of the churches, you must destroy all the word of God and replace it with the word of man, my false prophets, you must make sure that the false signs and wonders are duplicated within the real church of Jesus Christ so that people will follow my false prophets. Give the false prophets bigger and more persuasive tongues to speak this year, put the spirit of the flesh in the church so that they will desire all that is of the flesh and abhor any spiritual sacrifice to God, Christians, are more interested in their entertainment than in the church, I want more sports on Sundays, the Super Bowl and the World Series have done an excellent job of keeping people busy on Sundays outside of church, I want entertainment. We have only been successful in replacing true revival with entertainment, 
The devil sent demons into the life of every Christian to hinder their prayer life and their prayers, he said right now we are winning the war in the heavenlies because of the lack of prayer and lack of commitment, right now all their prayers are selfish, they do not try to build the kingdom of God but rather they are trying to build their own kingdom on earth instead of the kingdom of God, they are too blind to realize today every church has become a kingdom ruled by one man, and a board of directors keep it up. I saw Satan give power and specially commission to a large number of the following spirits and sending them to the churches, I saw the tempting spirit, I saw the oppressive spirit, I saw the spirit of murder, I saw the spirit of the father of lies, I saw the lying spirit, I saw the accusing spirit, the deceiving spirit, the robber spirit and many spirits, each acting according to their name, and I heard the enemy say expand terrorism, strengthen the cells. I will send demons to teach you how to be more effective when we bring more tragedy tragedy, which is a weapon against Christians, when we bring more tragedy to the United States and to the churches, we will turn against their God and they will lose their faith when they suffer, plus I want more school violence among the youth, if we focus with the youth there will be no church, the power of the church will be totally destroyed if the children are lost, the parents will renounce God to justify the sins of their children. We must destroy America from within, let the so-called Christians help us destroy it with their weakness and tolerance for everything, we must use all the forces at our disposal to achieve it, this is the year we must act, Christians are weak, they are more interested in their entertainment and wealth than in prayer, keep things that way, I will use all the lies and deceptions to destroy this current president so that I can bring my choice to power with the church asleep and weak Christians that have no, we can use America's own laws to destroy it, we can use the judicial system to overthrow it, any law we do not like the world is against America right now, this gives us greater power, we must use that power of hate against America as a force for us, we must bring an avalanche of demons into the United States from the countries that serve me and through the regions that serve me so that they can legally enter the states taking advantage of the hatred among them, and through these regions and these religions, prepare the army of darkness to come out and destroy everything that God claims is his, wage war in the homes, in the churches, in the schools, in the streets, in the workplaces, destroy peace everywhere, it is time to put men against women and women against women. The destruction of America is now in our hands. Once America has been destroyed I will be God and rule the world, the time of my kingdom finally is close, when I left the hall I felt very sad and defeated and helpless, until my eyes opened and I saw only rows and rows of warriors standing, firm and ready for war everywhere, I saw countless angels of God who were also waiting to fight, I saw the archangels, each at the head of their legions of heavenly warriors, the angel who guided me told me, all those angels are ready to fight for Christians and against immorality and for impurity, but their fight will be limited if Christians do not raise their voices in prayer, and prayers to God. The angel voice sounded very sad. The strength of the angel is very limited by the lack of prayer, worship and commitment of the people of God, the angel showed me many more things but he forbade me to speak, in fact until God said it was the right time to do so, O oh glory to God. Holy Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, Lord Jesus receives all the glory for this tremendous terrible and powerful testimony.